In this Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a CNC tongue and groove joint. This is a very convenient joint and a strong joint for making corners on boxes and aligning your parts. The first thing I'm going to do is create a component. I'll go new component and I will label this component as groove. This will be the bottom piece that has the groove. Then I'll create a sketch on the ground plane and I'm going to go ahead and just use a center rectangle. Then I'll start at the origin and then I'm going to come out and I'm going to type six inches tab six inches. That locks everything in place. The machine that I'm using works in inches. So I'm going to go ahead and change my document settings from millimeter to inch. Then I'm going to finish the sketch and I'm going to go to modify and change parameters. If you don't have a parameter for your plywood, I usually use ply click plus user parameter, type ply, and for this I'll type 0.75. This is an important way to work, so that way you can change your parameters later based on different plywood thicknesses. Then press E to extrude, click the face, and now I can type ply for ply. Now it makes a new body, I press OK, and then I go ahead and create a sketch right on top of that body. I could use two lines or draw a rectangle. It's really up to you. I'm going to draw two lines. So I'm going to draw one line right here, and then I'm going to draw another line right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and dimension these by pressing D. From this edge to this edge, I'm going to type a distance of ply. Then from this edge to this edge, I'm going to type ply slash two. So that's ply divided by two. Fusion 360 allows you to make equations so that way you can have dimensions that are just half or even multiple parameters added together. I'll finish the sketch and this time I'll press E to extrude again. I'll select the center piece and notice that the arrow is going up. So this time I wanna type negative ply divided by two to go down half ply and it's going to be a cut operation. I'll press okay. So now we have our groove piece. Now I'm going to go activate the top level component. You do that by clicking this little circle here and then I'll create a new component and I'm gonna call this tongue and I'll press okay. There are many ways to do this. I could create a sketch over here on this edge. I could create a sketch on the top. I could create a sketch over on the side here. It's really up to you how you want to do it. Uh, I'll show you a way that I might go about it. I might create a sketch right on the top plane here. And then I'm gonna draw a rectangle by pressing R. And from this point, right down to this point. Sometimes it won't snap. So just go ahead and click your rectangle. Then I can click the coincident constraint, grab this point, and then click this one. And if it still doesn't uh, snap in, you can go ahead and press P to project. Make sure you have the purple selection filter. And then I can just get that point, press OK. Then I can get coincident and make these two pieces coincident. Then I can draw one more line right at the midpoint to the midpoint, and then I can finish the sketch. I'll press E to extrude. I'll select this face and I'll type negative ply divided by two. And then it's a new body and I press OK. Whenever you do your first extrusion, Fusion 360 hides the sketch, so twirl out your browser, then click the eyeball by the sketch, press E again. I'll click this piece and this piece, and then I'm going to go up six minus ply. So six inches minus ply and join, and there we go. Now I can click the top level component, hide this sketch, and as you can see, I have two pieces that have a tongue and groove. This makes a nice joint because it looks nice on the outside and it looks nice on the inside, and you have a lot of glue surface if you're making this in wood. You can always inspect your uh, component colors so you can see if there's any interference with that. And that looks pretty good. Let me show you another way to make that tongue. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it with the orange here. And there's many ways depending on the way you want to make your model. I could create a new component and we'll call this tongue two. And this time I'll go ahead and create a sketch right on the edge here. Now what I want to do is press P and then I can grab a couple entities. So I grab these points right here. Then I'll press OK. Then I can draw a rectangle from here 
over to here, click coincident, make this point and this line coincident. And then I can go ahead and dimension this from the origin to the top, and this will be sick. So now we have the exact same thing, except I just have to draw two lines here. Now I could have projected those lines in instead of the points, both ways work. Now I can go finish sketch, and sometimes this is an easier way to do things. And then when I press E, since I know the dimension, I could type six, right? So that would go all the way there. Or I could say extent type two object, and then I can click this side and it goes right to the object, new body. So I created the exact same part, just using a different way of sketching. Go back up to the top level component. You can put some appearances on this, and then we can go ahead and take it into the manufacturer workspace to machine it with the process of our choice. So this shows you how to make a tongue and groove joint in Fusion 360. Happy 3D modeling.